In this session, we will discover another layer of protection within our VPC called Network Access Control List or NACLs. NACLs are an important layer of security in the AWS environment that control traffic entering and exiting subnet within your VPC. NACLs serve as a firewall for controlling traffic into and out of a subnet. They provide a rule-based tool for controlling network traffic. Each subnet in a VPC must be associated with a NACL. By default, AWS associates each subnet with the default NACL of the VPC. But custom NACLs can also be created and associated with the subnets. The default NACL allows all inbound and outbound traffic. This means that unless rules are added to restrict traffic, all traffic will flow freely to and from subnets associated with the default NACL. Unlike security groups, NACLs are stateless. This means they do not keep track of the state of network connections. Incoming and outgoing traffic is treated separately, and rules must be defined for both directions. If outbound traffic is not explicitly allowed, responses to allowed inbound traffic will be dropped. NACLs have an implicit deny rule, meaning that if a packet does not match any of the specified rules in the NACL, it will be denied. This is a default behavior to ensure that any traffic not explicitly allowed is blocked. When a new custom NACL is created, it denies all inbound and outbound traffic by default. Users must add rules to a custom NACL to allow traffic to and from the associated subnet. When configuring NACLs, it is important to carefully consider the order of the rules because AWS evaluates them in order, starting with the lowest numbered rules first. In the security group video, we created a security group to allow HTTP access to our EC2 instances. Let's go ahead and add SSH access to the security group as well. Once we allow both HTTP and SSH access, we can verify that both HTTP and SSH traffic will reach our host. Let's open the default network access control list that is associated with the subnet where we launched our EC2 instance. As we can see, rule 100 allows both inbound and outbound traffic by default. So it's better to create a custom NACL that we configure based on our traffic patterns. Clicking on Network ACL menu will open the NACL dashboard, where we will see all the NACLs that exist in that region. Click Create Network ACL button and provide a name for your NACL. Then select the VPC this NACL will be created in. Optionally provide any tags and click Create Network ACL. Once the NACL is created, its inbound and outbound rules will deny all traffic by default. Let's add a rule to allow all inbound HTTP traffic. As we can see, the outbound rule is deny all. Let's keep it as is for now. Next, we associate this NACL with our subnet. Once it is associated, we can test our SSH access to the instance. As we can see, the NACLs are preventing SSH traffic from entering the subnet. Let's go ahead and send the HTTP traffic to our instance, and to our surprise, even HTTP traffic is blocked. Reason being that our NACL is allowing HTTP traffic to reach the instance, but preventing the outbound traffic. So let's go ahead and allow all outbound traffic for now. After that, we will be able to get a response from our web server. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.